But just being out in the world, I've been sick for so many weeks. I feel like I've missed so much. Lucy's triumphant return. Mm. I can't wait to see her. She's exactly the same. You know, she enters a room and expects everyone to take notice. Well, at least she keeps things exciting. I hope she was able to work things out with her finances. Hey, I couldn't help overhearing. You guys know Lucy Cole? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. she's a good friend of mine. Why? Um, uh, she tried to murder a cop here last night. What? If you ever touch her again... You know what? You'll try and kill me? You already have. Twice, no. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Welcome back to the land of the living. How long have you been here? Since they brought you in last night. This morning? This morning. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Hey, hey. Oh, I gotta call the station. Well, no, sit back. Oh. You don't have to worry about that. They know exactly where you are. Where are you going? Me? I am going to bring a little of the outside world into you. There you go. Isn't sunlight supposed to be bad for, uh... <laughs> Vampires? That was a dream. Some crazy lady tried to drive a stake through my heart. But then... Yeah. That happened. Maybe some kind of mistake. I mean, Lucy can be flighty, but she's not dangerous. Lucy would never attack a cop. Really? That's exactly what she did. <gasps> Wait a minute. Coco goes cuckoo? You know, John was seriously hurt. If Sean didn't stop her, she could have killed him. My goodness. I mean, this, this just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Lucy's a lot of things, but a killer? And even a cop killer? This is not the Lucy Co that I know. Have you arrested him yet? Who? Who? Caleb Morley. John McBain. Listen to me. He is so dangerous. You have got to arrest him. He is a homicidal maniac. Lady, you're the only maniac around here. No, wait. Please listen to me. He is dangerous. He's seductive. He will not stop till he destroys this whole town. Listen to me. I don't think I was again. Caleb. 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 <laughs> King of the vampires. King of the vampires. And I was Livy. She's a... Livy. Yeah. I was trying to make you a vampire, too. That's pretty scary. Sure. Although... Although what? I mean, it would explain the feeling that we had when we first met, where we thought we knew each other from before. Yeah, we never did figure that out, did we? Mm -mm. You think this is it? It's possible. Come on, you know how that story goes. Two souls connect. The one who can't die waits centuries for the other to be reborn. And just when he lays eyes on her again, bam, stake through the heart. Yeah. That would be pretty sad. Although, if I, um, if I was a vampire, wouldn't I have, you know, combusted, combusted. right on the spot? Isn't that what you said? I guess so. So I guess you are not Caleb, the king of all vampires. I mean, but it, it, it still doesn't explain the connection that we feel. She's in lockup at the police station. I need to see her. Okay. Felicia, are you sure you want to do that? Oh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. I need to hear her side of the story. Anybody out there, will you please listen? The undead, they're walking among us, especially here. You, you know that detective? Well, he's not your detective. He happens to be king of the vampires. We have to stop him. Can I help you? Oh, my goodness. Duke? Duke Slavery? Yeah, I was passing and I heard you. Oh, oh, it's so good to see you. No one in here will believe me. Lucy, what can I do for you? Okay, first, listen, you have to be really, really careful because he works here. Who works here? Th there's a man that I knew a long time ago, and I happened to see him, and I realized who he was, and he's very dangerous. He's infiltrated. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. You're not Duke. It's just your bad luck that someone mistook John McBain for a vampire last night. I know, right? <laughs> you know, it's almost worth it being here like this, seeing John McBain with that stake of wood in his chest. Yes, but you have to admit it's rather unsettling. People still believe those things. Covens of the damned, creatures of the night, true blood. <laughs> it's sort of ridiculous. Please join me and welcome Lucy Co. Perfect. Now, post it. Done. Calls for celebration. I'm gonna get a bottle of our best champagne. Can I get you ginger ale? Mm -hmm. What do you say, Monica? You gonna celebrate with me the success of ELQ? Well, I was not hold my breath here, Tracy. Okay, what are you talking about now, Monica? I think maybe it's time to show you this. Coco goes cuckoo? Mm -hmm. I don't think your new CEO is going to be sipping champagne anytime soon. Who saw Lucy? Yesterday at the floating rib. I mean, she seemed fine, still Lucy, but not like she was about to fly into a homicidal rage. Did she mention anything about vampires? No. You know, she was there meeting Tracy Quartermain. They were talking business, not the curse of the undead. Something must have happened to convince her that John McBain was really Caleb Morley. McBain, he's the Vampire King? Oh, well, according to Lucy. We should have seen her. She was completely unhinged. Sounds like Lucy needs some serious help. And I know just the person to provide it. Lucy, I understand you'd be confused, but I'm not Cesar Faison. Faison? Why, why would I think you were him? Well, you didn't think I was Duke Lavery. You're right? not Duke Lavery. Duke is dead. May he rest in peace. You're Joshua Temple. Who is Joshua Temple? Caleb's assistant. He's one of them. You're one of them. You're one of the undead. In a manner of speaking, you may... Guard! Guard, you have left me alone in here with a vampire! Lucy, oh, I was... I was never dead. I was... I have something with everything in family Lucy, here. I am Duke Lavery. I am your friend. You're not my friend. You'll never be my friend. You're not my friend! Lucy. Lucy. I came as soon as I heard you were arrested. Oh, my God. Thank, thank God. Listen to me. You've got to get away from him. Get away from him, please. You, you mean Duke? He's not Duke. That's Duke, not his I, name. I can assure you I am Duke. I can understand the confusion, but I am Duke. Oh, well, I'm not confused. Anna called, and, and Matt told us the whole story. I'm, I'm actually glad to see you after all these years. It's, it's nice to see you. Welcome home. Well, thank you, Felicia. It's great to see you. You haven't changed. You're gorgeous. You're generous. You're as welcome. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. Okay, so you, you really believe he's... You think he's Duke? He is Duke. I promise you. Uh, all right, well then, in my defense, he looks exactly like a, a vampire. I, I just don't understand why I didn't see the resemblance at the time. At the time? What are you talking about? Alexis said that you attacked a police detective with a wooden stake. I did. I had no choice, and it's not a police detective. He's not John McBain. His name is Caleb Morley. Oh, now, slow down just a second. When did you start believing in vampires? Oh, Felicia, I, I, I really wanted to tell you. I, I really did before. It's just I didn't want to worry you. Well, guess what? We're worried. OK, just listen. Stay with me. Uh, 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 about 10 years ago, in, in, in town, th th this band showed up, uh, uh, demons, and they, they started pretending to be a rock band and, 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 a, and a rock star to take over the town and seduce everybody with glamour and lights and fun. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Reincarnation, mm. vampires, mm. past life connection, which one is? <laughs> I actually don't believe in any of those, but I'll play along. If I had to choose, I would say a past life connection. Hmm. I don't know about getting business done in a previous life, but I know there's some stuff I'd like to get done no, in this one. No, don't tell me you're thinking about work already. Just one crook in particular. Oh, you don't have to worry. You can relax. Todd Manning is in custody. You got him. I did. I, I got him trying to escape out the ER doors. I could have strangled him. I really could have, but I'll settle for him being chained to a hospital bed. You're not enjoying that as much as you should. Listen, it's it's not enough 
that he's been arrested. I want Todd to pay for what he's done. Hmm. You, uh, you want to go and check on him again, make sure he hasn't weaseled his way out? I don't want to leave you. I'm fine. I'll probably rest easier knowing that Manning is where he should be. Maybe it's what matters. And I'm on board 100%. I just need to start thinking like Lucy. Minus the vampire thing, all right? That was so weird. Creepy. Oh my God. Look, needs help, and the only person to do that is her husband. Kevin Collins. He's a psychiatrist. No, Alexis was going to call him last night. Uh, Lucy said he couldn't help her. Well, Lucy clearly isn't in her right mind. She wouldn't know what was best for her if... If it bit her in the neck. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Let me see if I can find his number. I hope I have the right number. Oh, yeah, I've got Kevin's contact. Um, here, is that the number you want? Yep, that's it. When I first came to Port Charles, Kevin was the first client I had, and I knew there was something more to his situation than what the facts presented, and maybe there's something more to Lucy's situation, too. Mac has been the police commissioner for the past decade. Don't you think he would notice if there were creatures of the night roaming streets? Of course, but he was hypnotized. Hypnotized? Yes, Caleb has this ability to mesmerize everyone, to, to make them forget everything. That you remember. Yeah, because I'm the slayer. I'm not following us. I'm a vampire slayer. My job is to kill Caleb, and I failed, so now he's out there on the loose, and I am locked up in here. Please, you have to help me get out of here, and you have to please believe me. Mom, what the hell is this? Well, apparently, Lucy Co. has gone stark raving mad. Lucy Coe's in jail? Apparently, she had some sort of psychotic break. But I remember McBain. He was, he was into my plea bargain with the DA. So you're telling me that Lucy thinks this guy's a vampire? Well, hence the desire to put a stake through him. And this happened yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. The same day Lucy decided to throw her support behind Tracy as CEO. AJ, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I may have a chance to run EOQ yet. Hi, uh, Kevin, this is Alexis Davis. Uh, your wife is, is in Port Charles. She's having some trouble. So could you give me a call as soon as you get this message? Thanks. Now all we have to do is wait for him to call back. Maybe we should try to track down Lucy's kids. Actually, I have more of an immediate plan. Hey, listen, I know this is way out there, and. It extreme but sometimes if you're really a friend you have to take a leap of faith so i'm asking you could you trust me i just want to know how i can help you okay it's very simple all you have to do is finish what i started you want us to kill john mcbain yes his name is not John McBain. It's Caleb Morley. Listen, all you have to do is get something wooden. It has to be really sharp, and you've got to pierce his heart because apparently I failed. We I should have done better. We're not going to stake anyone, Lizzie. You just told me that you wanted to help. Well, I will, by standing by you at your arraignment. <sighs> Felicia, could I... Could I talk to you for a moment? Oh, yeah. I... I don't think it's a good idea if I go to the arraignment. I mean, Lucy thinks that I was once a vampire, too. Oh, yeah, you have a good point. Maybe I'll go to the arraignment for both of us. Lucy, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to go to the arraignment, but I'm your friend. Please believe me. I'll always be your friend. If there's anything I can do for you, Fine. you just call me. I will, okay? but I... Listen, Duke, I appreciate that, but I want you to go after Caleb Morley. Hunt him down. Time for Miss Coe's arraignment. What? I, I don't even have a lawyer. You do now. Fortunately, I'm the only one who still knows that you have spent the last few months trying to cover up that DNA test, which proves that Jason actually is the father of baby Daniel. You son of a bitch. You can't just barge in here. I'm having a conversation with my attorney. And I finally have the truth. You knew that Danny was Jason's all along. You better not answer that. I have to answer it. It's the courthouse. Diane Miller. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what you're hiding in your safe. The mm -hmm. DNA test that magically appeared okay. after Jason was lost. You know what? I, I can mm -hmm. hear that you're angry. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I feel that your what? anger is a little misplaced. Misplaced? Yeah, it's Are you Weber kidding me? You Mr. Upset. Manning, we what? have been over this before, but it obviously bears repeating. You have nothing to say without your attorney present. But you're my attorney and you're present. <sighs> Not for long. That was about your arraignment. Oh, good. That can't happen soon enough. Mm. Does it make you any happier seeing me here like this? What do you mean? Completely helpless? <sighs> Unable to defend yourself, just like my son? I never hurt your son. You gave him to your ex-wife. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's your fault that Jason never knew that Danny was his son. Yeah, but it's not like that even mattered. What are you talking about? Well, like Carly it didn't told matter. me that Jason loved that Wait kid a regardless. Wait you had a conversation okay. no, no, no. with oh, Carly wait, 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 about wait, wait, this? Hold on, don't misunderstand me. Carly did not know about my alleged possession of the alleged... Alleged possession? You think it satisfies yeah. me seeing you in this hospital bed? You think again. You gonna kill me? No. I'm not gonna do anything that would take me away from my son. I've already spent too much time without him. I know the truth, the whole truth. So will everyone else. You are gonna lose everything if you haven't already. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm gonna be back at work within the week, okay? All right, yeah, well, you get a doctor's note. R&R &R for you, okay? Okay. And don't order the steak. Uh, <laughs> ow, oh, that hurts in your joke. The best I could do, I'm jet lagged. <laughs> It's okay, I'm awake. You're not supposed to be. Is Manning safely tucked away? Yes. That's good news, isn't it? I just, I, I thought I would get satisfaction out of knowing he'll pay for what he did to me and my son, but it turns out that Todd is an even lower human being than I could have realized. 